was nuts, and I was told that that was light. <laughs> The Handbelt Motorcycle Show in Austin, Texas, held by Revival Cycles, has accepted our entry into their motorcycle show. What is the Handbelt Motorcycle Show? So the Handbelt Motorcycle Show is a showcase for and by motorcycle builders. It's held in an abandoned newspaper factory that used to house the Austin American Statesman. This is the 10th year anniversary and we are stoked to be a part of this event. Are you building a motorcycle? No, I'm unveiling our Rascal GT mini bike frame at the show. It's been in the works for quite a few months and now it's finally ready to roll. The man. Good morning, Tater. What's up, man? Explain the Rascal GT mini bike frame. So it's super lightweight. There's hexagon cutouts all over the frame. It's super modular. There's tons of different tabs for different peg placements. You can put your chain roller wherever you want. There's uh, slots on there for a jack shaft if you want to run a jack shaft. The slanted motor mount can accept a TAV without having to use risers. It has an interchangeable rear axle. So you can run a live axle, you can run a straight axle, really whatever you want to do. The newly designed Unitank fits it perfect. It's got tabs just bolted on. Front suspension can be easily added on, and it's just a beautiful frame. You can use this frame as a drag bike or as a cruiser. I think we're gonna sell a lot as a cruiser. What do you think? Coming together, bro. I'm almost done with the full mock-up got the engine in there pipe looks good pipe clears um, I'm about to put the kickstand on roll it next door and look at it next to the drag bikes just because I want to see okay. how much different it looks um, fenders are mounted shaped to the tire almost perfectly but I'm gonna come in here and cut I got my line on there taking three and a half inches off the bottom three and a half inches off the bottom of the front fender. And then I think it's ready to tear down. Oh, this is gonna look much better. Much more proportional to the bike. Yeah, it should look really good. I'm pleased. Chromed out. It's gonna look nice. Yep. That's it. That's the ticket. I've got five different seats coming to choose from. They're all going to be variations of brown and black. Hmm. And then we'll have brown grips. And the engine's gonna go kill them. It's gonna be fast too. There's nothing in that block. 
That's just a thing. Oh, you see? You should be able to see all the right dudes. Hey, yo. Billet head, billet side cover, billet intake. We're gonna run the 32 mil glass lab. Nice. We'll have a chrome top plate, chrome shroud, billet juggernaut bell. This thing is gonna be pretty nasty. I'm excited. I'm I'm excited. I don't know if I've ever been this excited about a bill. I think this is gonna be our best one. As long as it's cooler than this one. I'll be happy. It already, the stance and everything already to me looks better. This seems like a legit. It, all, it looks so much longer. It looks like a legit like motorcycle, like a tiny motorcycle. It looks, it's gonna fit right in. This Rascal GT mini bike frame is versatile. Outfitted with 10 inch wheels and tall handlebars, this frame turns into a comfortable cruising mini bike. When you swap out to smaller wheels and shorter handlebars like Day Days, this Rascal GT mini bike transforms into a drag mini bike that's ready to hit top speeds at the drag strip. They're the same, but different. I mean, that's, that's Did you have other prototypes bike. before the Rascal GT? Yeah, our heart was to build a mini bike drag frame back in 2023. We started with a little rascal frame, extended it, and had Flacco jockey it. Yeah, so we started with the standard Little Rascal. Um, we extended it, I think it was eight inches. From there, man, we took it out to Tulsa to the Daryl Starbird Car Show, which I jockeyed at, and we won. We took first place in it. But at the end of the day, I'm almost six foot, so the bike, it was kind of small. That led me to build a Scratch Rascal. Y'all may know the red bike. Super fast, super comfy, but a bit heavy. And that led us to start on the Rascal GT, which is what we have today. Extended, really, really low, really, really light, really, really fast, super rideable. So Flacco's was the extended red Rascal. Then for one of the raffle bikes, we kept the Rascal the stock length, slammed it, welded on new tabs, and started incorporating the hexagon cutouts. And that became Honestly. What was great about Honest Abe is that we were able to raffle it off for teen life. Over the course of a year, we were able to raise over $100,000 through our mini bike raffles. Huge shout out to everyone that supported and donated. One pool for one ticket for the winner of Honest Abe, this copper and Carl mini bike. Raffle 10 winner is, is, oh my goodness, it's red. It's red, we got online folks. The winner is, Mary Lopez from Houston, Texas. Woo! <laughs> Hi, is this uh, Mary Lopez? Hi, uh, this is Zane from Go Power Sports. Um, you bought a ticket for one of our raffle bikes no, online. No, I did that. Oh, you did it? Oh, oh okay. you, <laughs> which one? No, no, yeah. No, you, uh, well, then. No. no you are you the winner. Won. You won! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is this, is this, for real? this is for real? This is for real? Oh, yeah, we are not messing with you. Yes. What? This is your bike. You won, Mary. You won! That's all yours. This is you now. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Congratulations, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, heck yeah, we appreciate you guys the time. Oh, that was really that cool. Was cool. Cool. That was cool. 
How did we so get? after Honest Abe, we were close, but we still needed to add strength and we needed to cut weight. So we used a thinner gauge wall tubing and then we added dual down tubes and took out the single tube. We have built some awesome mini bikes in the past, but we wanted this one to be even better than all of the raffle bikes. So a lot of these items, a lot of these parts we took to JB Chrome. He did tons of chrome, show chrome, and tons of polishing. Where are we going? The chromer. I've got all the chrome parts in the bin in the back. He's going to be doing chroming and a lot of polishing. There's lots of little aluminum spacers and aluminum parts that he'll just be polishing up. The chroming's going to be the biggest thing. I hope he's not mad at me. Why? Because they're so tiny? Because I've never dropped off this much hardware before. Does he know that you're coming? No. no. Okay. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? I'm on my way to you right now. I'm dropping off some stuff for a mini bike build we're doing. All right, no problem. I've got a bunch of hardware. Okay. So hopefully y'all don't get too mad at me. <laughs> All right, man. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. They are a local company to us right here in Fort Worth, and they do fantastic work. He's been in business for, I think, 30 years, and it's just a family thing. A lot of brothers, uncles work there. His son is starting to really step up and do a lot of work, and they just kill everything we take. Next, we drop off our frame, wheels, and gas tank to Carlos at Racing Wheel Repair. The destination is on your left. Racing wheel repair. All right. Ready to roll? Yep. There's so much inspiration as soon as you walk in the front door. Uh, yeah. That kind of looks like the carbon fiber we did. What you got for me, man? Looks like we're gonna do something crazy to do a quarter and a half. But I'm sure I can do something I can probably just put a tape. It was tough to pick a color, but when we went outside. One clearly popped out when we were in the sun. Fusion apple purple. The one thing that's hard about coming here is it's hard to actually decide on the color. Illusion money. money. And it's metallic -y, dude. Yeah. It yeah. Looks good. So it is crunch time with just a few days left for the hand-built motorcycle show. We have the powder coated parts back from Carlos. Time's running out and I'm working hard to get everything done on time. Bikes loaded up the morning of, got all the tools, the parts, the rags, the cleaner. Everything went smooth for me. 
as soon as we pulled up, unload the bikes, get them in as soon as possible, and then go park the truck because there's you know lines of trucks trying to unload their stuff. But as soon as I walked in the actual show, I was like, dang, I wish we had this for the pull start picnic. Like it's just, it's a beautiful building. It's been there forever. And it's just like a huge, like everywhere you look is the perfect backdrop for a motorcycle picture. Just like concrete walls, concrete pillars. It was just beautiful, the perfect setup. We got there pretty early. Um, there wasn't hardly any bikes in there. We were in, so you pull all the bikes into just lines so that they can do the pictures and then stage them. Um, we were probably like the 20th or 30th bike there. So when we got here, there was like probably 30 bikes, just this one center row. They've been pouring in all That gave us time to hang out with Tim, hang out with the crew. We got to help. We were pushing bikes around, helping them get pictures. I think it was really well received. Kind of stunk because it was on the other side of the show from our booth and I wanted to be able to see people's reactions more. But every time I walked over there to it, there was like a group of guys standing around it, pointing out different parts. You could really tell they were taking in the full build. You could see them kneeling down, pointing at little details that we did. So that was pretty cool. What set our entry apart from the others? Ours, the whole thinking behind it is making it universal and customizable to our customers. Every minute that I'm designing this frame, laying out the parts, making bins, welding, cutting, I'm thinking about our end consumer, how they can make this bike in their garage for them. So that's why there's tons of foot peg placements. I mean, it fits everybody. You can do a cruiser, you can do a drag bike. You can really make it your own. You can do six inch wheels, 10 inch wheels. It fits everything that we sell pretty much. So we're gonna drop a link in the description below. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this build and we'll see you on the next one. This this is, I need some seat time, you know. Dude, I need you to turn around and come pick me up. Uh, say that again. Thank you. Yay! Yay. Nice. Appreciate you.